What's up you amazing hackers, I hope you're all doing well today. So as you know we're hosting Red CTF soon. If you want to be in Red CTF, if you want to be a participant, make sure to check out the description below because we have this awesome amazing box that's built by two great guys, The Art and Andreas. Honestly one of the best boxes I've ever tested and really based on real life experiences. So get on it guys i challenge you i hereby officially challenge you for red ctf details will be in the description below now let's get on to the xxc um, if you want to join red ctf i would pay close attention now um, exploiting xxc via image file upload this lab lets users attach avatars to comments and uses the apache batic library to process avatar image files to solve the lab, upload an image that displays the content of the etc hostname file after processing. Then use the submit solution button to submit the value of the server hostname. Now what they say, a couple of things, the Apache library that they discuss here. The first thing that you should do if you see one of those libraries, if you see any library at all, is just look up how to exploit it, if there are any common exploits for that library. And as you can see in our case, we have an XXE uh, common injection here. So we have a uh, common injection in the, uh, uh, in the Batic library. Now, this is something that should put you on a path already. Now they discuss XML in particular, XML files. Uh, as you can see here, they have a normal XML file that they use. We're going to use an SVG file and they also discussed that a little bit. So I implemented a small sample application which uses the SVG to PNG slash JPEG transcoding classes in the same way the investigated web application does. So this means this should give us a tip SVG could possibly be vulnerable to X60 as well. And that's because an SVG is basically just an image but the contents of that image are going to be determined by the XML content of the file. So as you can see here, and I'm going to go over my own example that I've created for you guys, well, that I've copied and pasted from the parts of your labs, that is. So you, of course, first of all, start up your XML tag to de declare your XML file. Uh, and then you're going to create a doc type. And as you guys know from my previous videos on XXCs, you declare your entities in your doc type. So we make a new entity in the doc type test and we call the entity XXE and we say that it has to execute a system command and it has to get this file specifically. So then we open our SVG file and in this SVG file we put a new text in here with a font size of 16 and we tell it to put our entity in the text. So this is going to, when we go back to our website, let's go to the block real quick. As you can see on the block, it has a few block posts. And when we view one of these posts, of course, we can leave a comment behind. Now in here, we can upload an avatar. Now, if you want to try XXC, of course, the first thing you would try is to upload like an uh, XML file. We're not going to try to upload an XML file because if we do that, it's going to tell us that it's not possible. So let's just enter some test data here, google.com. There we go and post our comment. And when we try that, it says avatar file must be an image. Now, luckily for us, SVG files are also images. So I have the SVG file that I just showed you guys. Remember, it has an external entity in it. We're going to try to upload this SVG file. And then when we post our comment, we're going to wait a little while. There we go, we have our comment posted. And now when we go back to the blog post, you can see this tiny little image here and this image has a text in it. Now it's really hard to read, but if I enlarge this image, so if I just copy the image location and then just go to it, you can see what the actual host name of the server is supposed to be. This is the text that we've gathered. Now I would like to thank you all very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Once again, details for Red CTF are in the description below and I officially challenge you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.